so in the way that music can capture uh, the, the human experience is is something that I w that I really wanted to dive into for this first concert, and to talk about and to explore that at least in in four different ways with four different pieces, which is why I called it the the spirit in music. So we begin with uh, with a piece by Michael Torkey called Monday, which you've had a Monday before. Everybody's had a Monday, and you can say I've had a Monday, and and. Everybody nods their head and say, oh, yeah, yeah, me too. I've had a Monday. Um, and it's interesting how this piece can capture that, that frantic nature of it. Sometimes uh, you're doing something completely different than everybody else around you. Everybody sometimes is all going the same direction. But there's this, this frantic and, and somewhat almost out of control nature of some Mondays. <laughs> moments where which are tranquil there are moments where you, you, you stop you catch your breath you look around you you notice oh okay the world is still with me and, and along with that and and it's remarkable how Michael Torkey captures all of that in this music so um, so that's capturing a, a particular moment or, or, or a day in the life there's also music that captures the, the spirit of a kind of a person and that's where the Haydn Symphony comes in. Haydn Symphony number 22 is nicknamed the Philosopher. Now, he didn't write it that way, but it gained that nickname because it has the essence of a deep thinker walking around his or her studio, pondering whatever happens to go through their, their mind. And it's unique in all of Haydn's output in that uh, there's no other first movement that has this, this thoughtful uh, stepping around, and, and, and it literally does. It steps around from key to key to key throughout the entire movement, and, uh, and it really does capture that kind of a person and that kind of a moment that people can identify with. Um, then you follow that with Pelias and Melisande, which is instrumental music, or it, it's uh, incidental music written by Faure. And the essence of incidental music is to capture people's um, uh, personalities, relationships, places where they are, mood setting, all of that sort of thing, which takes an awful lot of words to do. But as soon as the music begins, you know where we are. And you know the essence of a, of a, of a particular person. For instance, the Sicilian is Faure's uh, a portrait of Melisande. And it's it's very sweet. It's it's um, um, it's lilting. It's innocent, and 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 it's really very beautiful. And uh, and it's it's never heavy. It's never um, uh, overbearing. And you just really have a, a very lovely picture of Melisande. Um, in the movement prior to that, which is uh, uh, it, um, it, it's Melisande sitting at the spinning wheel. And so you get this this. Um, s sort of a spinning uh, movement going on in the strings. So you have this this always ongoing spinning mo motion in the spinning wheel, while she sort of uh, almost tunelessly hums while she's working. And all this time, Peleus is is like this, you know, just just watching her. that whole piece it, we're, we're capturing moments capturing uh, moods and feelings and uh, and relationship there and then finally with the with Johann Sebastian Bach his whole life was given to 
uh, to glorifying God. And I think in, in everything that he did, he wanted to capture the spirit of God in, in, uh, in God's perfection, in God's detail. Um, and, and I love the, that particular aspect of Johann Sebastian Bach's music because here in Colorado, we have a wonderful uh, allegory of Johann Sebastian Bach's music. You, you stand anywhere where you can see the front range and you have this broad expanse, this absolutely beautiful, monumental expanse of mountains, which is almost overwhelming all at once. But you can spend endless days and weeks and months exploring the detail of those mountains. You can wind up in the midst of the forest and on any one of the mountains or on a mountain peak or, or on a trail anywhere or in a, uh, along a stream or a lake or, or anywhere along that and, and, and be endlessly fascinated with the detail and then still zoom back out and it's still that, that beautiful monument. Johann Sebastian Bach's music is that way, in its attention to incredible detail at at, at the at the infinitesimal level, the, the the choice of two notes and whether or not they expand or contract in their interval and how they interplay with one another, all of that within the context of of a much larger and grander scale, is remarkable and and expresses the spirit and the glory of God better than or at least as well as anything ever written.